Anthony Ferraro, Dan Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Yeah, I can make it boom, clap, boom, clap. <laughs> and we're back. Back, 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 <laughs> We're Welcome here. Back. Welcome, sighted Are you here? and non-sighted people of the world, of the United States, and other great nations. Thank you for tuning in. <sighs> there we go. I let that out. Get yeah, hyped. there we go. It's a purge. I like it when you wiggle, wiggle. Don't fold. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Anthony Ferraro. Daniel. Louis Mancina, the first. I mean, the first. Yeah. There's not how's a second going, yet. How's it going, DLM? I am the first, technically. I'm good. How was it? You went shredding today at the skate park, e park? Yeah, dude. I got my hand all wrapped up right now. In um, New York City? Yeah, Lower East Side Skate Park. Very famous skate park. Mm-hmm. It was sick. It was Smash actually sick. You cut super, your hand? It was, I... I went down this, uh, I dropped in on a quarter pipe, and I went to ollie up this um, manual pad, and there was, mm-hmm. I did it before, like I did it right before, but I must have hit it at a different angle, because this time, there was the meanest crack, it wasn't even a crack, it was like a miniature crater in the cement, and I just went so flying forward, <laughs> and my dude this is the weirdest i've never had this type of injury happen before because it wasn't even that bad of a fall but on the newer canes they have this thing on the end of the like rope that you uh fold it up and like put over it has this like plastic nub thing yeah yeah i know that thing. that thing got caught under my hand and the ground and punctured into my hand like a, a literally like maybe a quarter to half inch deep <laughs> And it was so gnarly. Like, I, I, it hurt so bad. And Kelly came over. She looked at it. She's like, oh my God. Like, it was that bad. She was like, I it was would. Just stuck in there. Is that a yanking like, out? Like, you need it. No, no, no. It wasn't stuck in there. It was already out. Just it gouged just, it a good it chunk of it. It was so deep and wide that, like, it feels like my whole hand is bruised right now. And it was just so it feels, gnarly that. Feels like- the, it was, it was like um, my my hand was cut. It's cut so deep, and Kelly, we had nothing like clean to like wrap it up with. So she went in the car and f- she found a clean tampon and fucking put it on my uh, cut, and then wrapped that up in like a towel Jeez. we had. And then I just kept skating. That's the original use for those. You know that. I know. Bullet wounds. Is bullet it? holes. Yeah, that's what they originally for bullet holes and, and the warring right. stuff. Shove that thing in there. Uh, it worked and then it works, I, yeah. I like at one point I felt like I was gonna faint through the whole thing because I was like <laughs> I don't know how bad this sensitive is. I don't wanna look at it and this is so like I felt the thing go in so deep to my hand and then just come out. I had that little plastic thing. <clears throat> I take those off now because when I first had one How do you do it? It whipped around and it hit my eyeball, Ooh. like my raw eye, and it hurt so bad. Oh. I was like, dude, why is this on here? How do you take it <clears> off? <throat> just break it. This plastic. Just break it off? Yeah, just break that beach. Uh, Players. Yeah, that, that was, I was so it. pissed off because I was like, that wasn't even a, like, that was my cane that hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't even a bad fall. Was, but the park was crazy because every, like, couple minutes it's under the subway so every couple minutes the subway's going oh, by through. and it's so loud but mm-hmm. it's a huge park and it's really like i don't know it's just it's the really subways cool are loud there. when i was in chicago i was like we walked under the subway car and i was like damn that's actually really it was loud. dude i would stop because i just didn't hear i couldn't hear anything i, didn't yeah, know I could I hear it i was staying on the 28th floor and i could hear it on the 20th floor like still pretty loud like all the way down there too damn, I was like, damn that's like it's ripping and roaring dude yeah, you need to get that on. Uh, you need to get on like that Japanese tip and get on some magnets, dude. Silence that thing. Oh, funny story today. I uh, 
some two people thought I was you. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting, are you the guy, are you the guy on TikTok? I always, now I'm just like, maybe. There's a bunch of us out there. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I thought so. But no, this one kid like asked me if I was Dan Mancino, and I was like, "No, nah, he's I have a podcast with him. Though. He's my good buddy." And he's like, "Dude, that kid did a front <clears throat> blunt transfer that like blew my mind." I was like, yeah, he does that man? Sick. And then some kid came up to me. He's like, "Yo, were you on the Nine Club?" And I was like, "No, nah, I know what you're talking about." <laughs> Like it's not like we look that alike. We, no, we it's just the so. cane, dude. They just you, know, the you have clout. Skater. Like you're known in the New York City skate scene because of Thrasher. You're like the only blind <sighs> skater they've ever heard of because the only skating they see is on Thrasher. Yeah, Thrasher Nine Club action. Yeah, that's cool though. She went with it. Like yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, dead. I'm dead. I'm trying all these DCs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Switching teams, bro. I was doing pretty good. How are, how, were you skating the DCZs? Yeah, the Kalis Slims. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. I was uh, skating my homie's board, like the James Sayers model that he gave me. And uh -huh. some Is he kid traffic? Came up, Is that what yeah, he? for traffic. And some kid came up yeah. to me and he's like, Yo, can I take a picture of your board? And I was like, Yeah, man. He's like, Do you know who that is, dude? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> it's like, He actually gave me this board. Oh, was he going to, like, send it to him? Like, I saw your board out in the wild. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, That's cool. Good park, though? Yeah, it was a cool park. Yeah. There was a lot of good, like, you would actually like, there was a lot of long ledges. Otter. Uh, Sorry. No, I think he just has, I thought he was in the garbage. There was some, like, round, uh, some round rails that were, like, they weren't. They were round rails, but they had something underneath them, like going to the ground. If that makes sense, like it was like it was like round rail coping, I guess, on like a very thin hmm. thing it was built on. Like on a ledge, it's just a long round rail on a ledge. I wouldn't even call it a ledge because it was the length, like the width of a round rail. Like that it was Oh yeah, from. okay, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've okay. seen that before. It's just yeah, yeah instead of uh, welding cross beams, it's just on like a yeah. like metal or the, wooden, the whole like, yeah, yeah, wooden or cement thing. Yeah, yeah gotcha. it was cool though. And then gotcha, um gotcha. there's a bunch of just a lot of flat, a lot of just there was ramps set up all around the perimeter too, you know, like quarter pipes, all different sizes. And... Did you fifty fifty the round bar? Yeah, I did actually. Can you hear Otter and hear him freaking loud <laughs> as all I, can I, be? Hi, Otter boy. Buddy. But yeah, I fifty the round rail, the round bar. I uh, I, I got a varial heel in front of the Big Apple. Nice. Yeah. The Big Apple. I like was... a big fakey. What's up? Barrel heel to fakie, like on a bank? No, 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 just on flat. Just on flat skis? Yeah, but like there's this big apple like statue thing. It's oh, funny. okay. And there's a cement kicker leading up to it, and you could like ollie over it, but it's a huge gap. Oh, sick. You can actually skate over it, the it big It was gap. set up like if you could see, it was set up sick. Do you know Is what there I mean? a bite taken out of the apple? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think no, so. No. They should have a big old rat that like, take a bite out of yeah. it. <laughs> it's a true big apple. Oh, man. Big rat teeth in it. That was sick, though. <clears throat> the hand was a bummer, though. Yeah. It's like really, it hurts bad right now. I know, Anthony. Reminds me of the other time. One time I was, you know when I do those unboxings, I like whip the door open? <laughs> yeah. So one time <clears throat> the key was in the door, and I whipped the door open so hard, and I didn't know there was something against the wall, and the door bounced back. And the key went into my hand, like mm. into into the top of my hand, and broke off in my hand, the top of the key. Ew. Oh, it was so gnarly, dude. I have the worst luck. Jeez. Yeah, I was gouging my fingers up, changing my lady's oil today. The last <laughs> couple days, dude. I stripped a bolt on it the first time. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just taking chunks out of my damn You're hand, doing though. doing what? <clears throat> changing the oil on Heather's car. You do that? I do that. Damn. Mechanic damn. Not really. I was struggling, dude. I got it, though. I would not be able to do that. 
You definitely could. It's just a bolt <laughs> and then a filter yeah. and then refilling it. And I did, I did have all the oil in the pan on the ground <clears throat> and I go to get up and I put my hand down on the ground and I put it right in the old oil, like in it, like, oh, that's straight, like up to my wrist. I was like, <laughs> no, God damn it. <laughs> it is so gross, dude. <laughs> That's gnarly. It was hot too. It was freaking scorching oil. Like, oh my god, dude, come on, come on, bro. So that was fun. That's been like a like a three day process though, because <clears throat> the bolt was stripped last time in the bottom, and then I had I had to get a new bolt, and I got that off, and I put the filter on, and the filter wasn't like the right. It wasn't the same length as the other one. I'm like, I don't know if this is right. Dude, so luckily I, I didn't put the oil. I didn't put the oil in yet. And I was like, Heather, come check. Make sure this is the right filter. And she looked it up. She's like, yeah, it says it's not the right car. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> God, I didn't fucking waste the, all the oil. Though. Oh, my God. Yeah. Learning, Dude, I learned a lot. I could not. Do you do that every year for or like all the time or? Whenever the oil changes. This is like my new car. It's like my second time doing it on this car. <laughs> Either I do it or... Yeah, you save a lot of money doing it yourself too, right? Next, nowadays, yeah. I mean, it's still kind of expensive, but... Now they charge like a hundred bucks to change your oil, dude. Jeez. But you can do it for like... not. It's probably like... I don't even know. I think it's like 60 bucks or something like that. Which it used to kind of be the same, so it was... Didn't matter. Mm. But yeah, mechanic. My, my father was a mechanic. My father's father was a mechanic. My Both my uncles are mechanics. Are you messing with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, from, that's from... From my cousin, Vinny. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Clearly, your like family is hurt. qualified. He's like, yeah, that's funny. He's like, he's favorite like, movie of all time. I thought you were blind. <laughs> what, he the said movie? it to the guy in the courtroom from in my cousin Vinny with the guy with the glasses. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, there's the two scenes. Yeah, there's the one with the guy, and he's like, "Not, nah, not." Nah, he has like the stutter. Yeah. Like, nah, <laughs> what, what, were you not wearing your your glasses? <laughs> he's like, "These is my reading glasses." <laughs> no, no from before the questions. <laughs> <laughs> that was such. And then the other one, is the lady can't see her two fingers, and he holds up the fingers, and the judge like. Let the defendant or let the jury know that the defendant holding up two fingers and she, yeah. yeah. Dude, I just had a weird thing happen to me on DoorDash right before we started doing this. I ordered something and I was waiting for it to come and it, like they were literally like a couple blocks away. It said on the thing, and it's it just stopped right. And I'm like, what's going on? And they're like cop pulled me over and i'm like oh no like <laughs> poor person you know like that sucks like I, I feel so bad whatever and then like 10 minutes go by and they're still sitting there and then all of a sudden they leave like go the opposite way of my hat like my apartment mm -hmm. and we're like what is going on and they just stopped answering and they just ghosted and like doordash couldn't get a hold of them no one like they get and, arrested too uh, dude no because they would have had to go to the station and you could see like the location oh, and they really? just kept it kept going like just further and further away north what the hell so someone got some uh, some ice cream. They probably got freaking locked up, bro. They're taking them to the pen, dude. They're taking them to Rikers, bro. <laughs> Straight to Rikers, son. Oh, my God. Is that what it's it was, Rawway. ice cream? Dude? No, in Jersey, it's Rawway. Oh. I think Rikers is in the city, isn't it? It is New York, yeah. Yeah, New York. That's why they're going That's north, right from nope. Freaking uh, Law and Order. <laughs> yeah. Take them to Rikers. I picked them up from Rikers and there's what is the other some rap bunch of rap songs, but yeah. was it ice cream though? Yeah, maybe they were just over it. It's probably just like most of their like long. Well, yeah, was... I was like, oh, well, the ice cream screwed anyway. That sucks. You should have just pulled up on them, dude. Have Kelly like I, I was get... literally like, dude, there were a couple blocks hey, away. Hey, he's got Let's my food. Go Let me get ice this, cream. Dude. Yeah, that's hilarious. Excuse me, officer. Oh man, that he's was the weirdest cream. thing I've ever happened on DoorDash though. 
That is a strange one. Kelly called it too. She was like, I wonder if they got pulled over and that's what they messaged us. Damn. We got pulled over coming home from Ohio. Uh, Were you Saturday, driving? Saturday night. It's not driving, Anthony. <laughs> but they were just like, yeah, you didn't have a light on your on your license plate. We couldn't. We were following you for like a mile. We couldn't even see if you had a plate on your car. And we're like, Oh, there's what? license plate lights, right? But that can't be true because... They're reflective, so it's like you know, like you can't see the plate either way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it was just. Don't license plates have lights? Like a license <laughs> plate light or no? Yeah, there's no light. There's a light on the plate, yeah, but they're yeah. also reflective. So when you're driving behind somebody. Yeah, you got to be able to see reflects. it with the light going on it, right? Like the car light. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds That's like true. a. You just wanted to check us out, I guess. Yeah. We're all clear. We're all clear. It was like right before the border. Good old Ohio, Cleveland. Yeah, we skated Cleveland in the weekend. Those night, nice. dude, good spots. Good spots. Shropped it up. I had my uh, speech in North Carolina, or not North Carolina, in uh, Massachusetts. Is that the in Worcester. That, did we talk? Didn't we talk about this? No. Yeah. We talked about my other one, and we talked oh, about a different one coming up. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I. Uh, it was in an orchestra hall in front of, like, 500 people. <laughs> it, it was so nerve-wracking. There was, like, you could feel, because I got there early, and you could feel, like, there was the stage was risen, and you could feel how open it was in front of you. And there mm-hmm. was, like, there were uh, balcony seats and stuff. Like, it so was That's the insane. one where you started your speech off with, I'm an I'm a Uber driver? Well, I did it again, yeah. Oh, that was that zero. But it hit hard, dude. This time, like, there was just because there were so many people, like, you could feel like when everyone would laugh, yeah. you're like, "Oh, that's awesome," you know, like. That's funny. And then it was like when you would get like, oh, like people like their breath stops, you know, from certain parts of the story. Like people were very engaged, so it was really mm-hmm. awesome. That's cool. Yeah. And then had my gown too. on again. Oh yeah, the first one was only seventeen students. How many? Yeah, was this, this like was like two hundred fifty, like two hundred students. Yeah. maybe. that's tight. And <clears throat> this was high school graduation. Yeah, it was a um, it was like an online school that anyone from Massachusetts could go. Really? Like or something like that. It was really crazy. Like free? I don't know if it was free. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Huh. But uh, I think it was for, like, you know, kids with different situations. Maybe had a hard time in the regular school system. Anyone can kind of get in, almost? <clears throat> I think so. That's cool. It was really cool. It was like, the orchestra hall was huge. There was, like, a giant organ built into the wall behind me. Mm. There was, like, Kelly had me go up to these these freaking pictures they had. The picture frames were, like probably 10 feet tall they were insane <laughs> did, you, did you point at one of them that one's me what's up <laughs> did you point at one of the pictures saying, that, one's, <laughs> that one's me that's from finding it Forest was funny Street. part of my speech Another movie quote. in the middle of my speech i was like talking and there was this paper with print on it like on the podium and for some reason i was like just as a twitch <laughs> i kept like touching it right yeah, yeah. and i kept like look like Every once in a while, I would, like, glance down at it, but I couldn't see anything. I just, <laughs> it was just, like, and I made a point to, like, say so. I was, like, yeah. for some reason, I keep looking down at these notes. I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, get something from them. That's funny. <laughs> People started cracking up. Yeah, you got to dress the obvious. What are you doing, Otter? So I know. Funny. Got a little neglected today. I know, buddy. Oh. That's tight, though. Yeah, that's nerve-wracking, dude. Yeah, it was definitely nerve-wracking did kelly bring you up on stage or did you go solo no i went so i sat on stage for the whole uh ceremony oh jeez yeah i know I was... so, nah, you were probably like oh, damn, give me off <laughs> i spoke <laughs> like for 10 15 minutes and yeah. then it was like i had to listen to like i was the last one to go before they started announcing the names oh. and then it was just like 200 names so you're up there just clapping i clap for every single kid i made a point to clap for every single kid oh man 
That's good though. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You're up there like, damn, we should sit down. I always make a point to like find out where the American flag is before the thing too. So like when they do the Pledge of Allegiance, I'm not like, where the heck's the flag? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I always, or otherwise you're just like, look, sitting or like looking towards the speakers, you know, where the yeah. sound's coming from. Like, mm. Yeah. That's that good. And then <clears throat> freaking wakeboarding, dude, or wake surfing. Wake surfing, yeah. Not to drive the boat. Did you? Yeah, dude. Those you let boats me drive are the boat. intense. It was too. sick. They go fast, too. Yeah, they can rip. And uh, I got up first try. It was so sick. Like so the that, wake, so this board has like fins on it. Is it like a normal shaped so surfboard? The fins that were it's it's like a seven <laughs> and he said it was pretty like big board, like there's nine foot ones too, but I think I was using a seven foot and like he uses a five foot. Uh -huh. And then I was using the seven foot and it has these fins on it, like just like surf fins, but like smaller. Like have you ever seen surfboard fins? Mm hmm So it's like those, but like shrunken. boarding house, bro. Yeah, uh, it's a quad fin, dude. How many fins on this? Thing? I'm pretty sure it was three fin. Tri fin, I, I, bro. I don't remember correctly, but um, and his had no fins on it. Whoa. So, yeah, so that was crazy. That's like a wake skate, isn't it? Yeah, like it was, it was like a wake skimboard or something. Yeah, wake skate. You do like shove it and. Crap. Yeah, he was doing uh, five, like uh, five shove, like what is it, five forty shove? Five forty shove. Yeah. yeah. He was doing like one uh, eighties, like it was nuts, and the spray that would come up was insane. But you would, uh, you'd hold the rope, you'd, and you weren't strapped in or anything. So the board was, and it had like it wasn't a smooth top, like it felt like it had these rivets in it that were like meant for grip. Oh really? Did they use wax too or no? No, no wax? it wasn't wax on these. So like know a, some people. Is there like a stomp pad on it in the back yes. too? Okay. There is a stomp pad, but. They're not fiberglass boards. They're foam tops, but like hard foam. Okay. And I, so you lay back on the, um, in the water with the board, like, what is that? Perpendicular to the boat, right? Mm-hmm. And you're on the back of the boat <clears throat> and you have the rope that you're holding on to and you're on your back with your heels on the edge of the board where you want your feet to be like once you get up mm -hmm. and then you hold on to the rope arms straight out you don't want to pull at all like and you don't mm -hmm. want to pull don't against use, the rope don't use your biceps yeah your don't use, exactly and uh and then it what is it he you tell him when you're ready and they just the boat sends it and you're supposed to stay like squatted when you're getting up so like as you're as the boat starts going and you put a little pressure on your heels the board comes and like meets your feet basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you you stay squatted real low get over the board turn and then stand straight up and then you're going and you can like drop the rope with one arm and you're cruising the wake the, and you could feel with your left hand that's how we f and the guy was going the kid was going like to, on my right side he was on a separate rope so he could like talk to me and communicate so that was sick mm -hmm. and then um all of a sudden i'm cruising on the uh the wake and i can feel with my left hand the wave yeah so i'm goofy and where does like, that come up to like your waist kind of yeah exactly lower? like maybe a little lower actually yeah and then i'm like cruising out and i start like getting in the zone and like pumping he's like whoa slow down like don't pump you know like and and i was like uh Dude, it felt unreal. Like, you're cruising on the water, but it feels like you're not even on water because of how fast you're going, mm -hmm. or at least how fast it feels like you're going. And it, I just, like, I didn't know what was going on the first time I went because we just went right into it, basically. And, like, yeah. I was just holding on to that rope for dear life, like, trying not to fall. He was behind <laughs> me, like, yeah, yelling yeah. what to do. And then all of a sudden I... He's like, when you're ready, throw the rope to your left. And I threw the rope, and all of a sudden, I nose dove so hard, oh, dude. Oh, no way. Yeah. It was so fun. And I, my adrenaline's pumping, and it's, like, pretty cold out because the storm is, like, rolling in, I guess. Uh -huh. And 
I'm like freeze. I'm straight shiver quiver. Like my body, I'm like, oh, no. this, like I, my you. whole body was shaking. But I'm also like on such adrenaline that I don't care. <laughs> and when that <laughs> first like lips are blue, you're shaking. Dude, it was so bad. I was like so embarrassed too of how shiver quiver I was. Oh, but he was like, no, dude, I'm freezing too. And I like, <laughs> I get my board back. I go back to the thing he's like all right let's go again before i even like get to get out on the boat you know uh-huh. and like i go again and like this time like the nosedive never happened again thankfully like because i figured out how to not to do that and then i just started like feeling the wave and feeling it with my left hand and it was so cool like i started riding up the wake and then riding down and mm-hmm. at one point i got like so close to the boat i like got real sketched out yeah, and then you hear the engine just like ripping in front of you. Oh, yeah. dude, it's like vroom. And uh, on this time, he like let go of me when I let go of the rope. And then I was just cruising the wake, like by myself, staying alongside, like along back the boat. And it was sick. Like, st- dude, you are cruising. And it was like, I felt like I was flying basically. It was a, such a sick feeling. Yeah, it's and crazy that you can actually stay up with the boat. It doesn't seem like it, that would actually work. But... I didn't understand it. Like, yeah, I really wow. didn't understand it. And I didn't, I can't see anything that's going on, obviously. So that's like tripping me out even more. I'm just trying to stay like in the pocket, <laughs> showing me. Yeah, yeah. And, oh man, like the kid was, he was such a good coach. Like, the guy was, he was a really good coach and like very vocal. And mm-hmm. it was just, it was something I really needed. Like, it, I felt like kind of slow or like out of it for a couple of days or a week or two. And like that really like blasted me into like that next mode I needed. Like, it just, mm-hmm. it was like that refresher, you know? Yeah, doing something new and exciting kind of. Oh, it was so, dude, I want to go back so bad. There's like, he has, um, what is it? It's, uh, wakeboarding, uh, barefoot skiing uh-huh. which sounds crazy because i think you're just like not strapped in at all you have no not just your bare feet you just gotta go fast as hell and just fucking just... oh my god <laughs> yeah so all that's so he's it's it's really cool and then he let me drive the boat and yeah, that was sick i Ripping drove around. the boat while he i towed him while he did the wake <laughs> surfing <laughs> sick it was really cool damn Shout i think it was been a pretty Ian, it's IPS, yeah. Ian Scott, uh, IPS Water Sports in Maine. That was sick, dude. Damn. In Maine. Isn't that where you got married? Yeah, it is. Did you say you guys went to the... Yeah, we went uh, and stayed on the property we got married on. And that was sick. There was the altar still set up from when we got married. That's about it. And mm-hmm. the guy whose property it is, he bought a monster truck. <laughs> Full on monster truck, full on monster truck. Like this thing, the where you step in to get in the car was up to my nose, <laughs> <laughs> and he had a. Uh, it's like a fourteen seater van up top. Like oh, the, that's what's up there. Is a big yeah, van. it's fourteen seater, dude. Oh and he God. has just the four seats, like captain seats, and then the whole back's like just taken out. Yeah. And he has a ladder back there, so you can take that out of the trunk, so people can get in through the trunk. And the dog, <laughs> the dogs jumped in, dude. Like he rolled up, so the the house has like a really high up deck, and he rolled up to the deck, and we just stepped into the monster <laughs> truck. It was amazing, dude. That thing was ripping around, or what? Yeah, dude. You don't even feel like it, it's so crazy. Like being, you have to be sighted to enjoy it even more. But like. Like, I just felt like I was riding in a van. Like, it was nuts. Mm-hmm. But you're so high up. Like, you forget, too. When I opened the door to get out, I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, my cane yeah. barely hit the bottom. Was he freaking ripping around? Was he rolling, rolling over, like, Yeah, he was rolling walked. over, like, garbage and logs and all this stuff. Like, <laughs> everything. And then we took it on the street. Was it, like, smooth kind of when you're bouncing on stuff? Yeah, it's so smooth compared to when you're driving, like, the uh, side-by-sides he has, yeah. like the Polaris's. They, like, bounce all over the place because there's so many divots no, in the ground. This really thing just cruises, dude. Yeah. Like, you can ride it over trees and stuff. Yeah. 
I always want to ride one of those ones and like run over a car, dude. Uh, dude, I know. I want to do that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if anyone's out there and has a junkyard and a monster truck. I want to ride in the Scooby-Doo monster truck, too. Or the Grave Digger. What's the Scooby-Doo monster truck? Oh, there's a Scooby-Doo one. Grave I thought Digger they had the, the van. <clears throat> Maybe it's a van. I don't know. It's just the, the you know, like the each one has its own name. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a Scooby Doo one, like the, on like the Monster Truck tours or whatever. Oh, on the tours. <laughs> yeah, like I was the like, circuit. What are you talking you know? about? Scooby Doo Monster Truck, dude. You don't watch, <laughs> you don't watch the Monster Truck rally, dude. I remember watching those when I was younger. They used to do like flips and shit, right? I don't know if they flipped. Dude, they would, I'm pretty they would, sure they would no, they flip would crash it. and fall over. They wouldn't do flip. You can't uh, flip that thing, yeah. Yeah, no, they you would can just definitely be tip around. That thing. <laughs> so sick. I went to one like they have them in Ohio. No, time. you didn't. It's loud as hell in there. You gotta wear like earmuffs sometimes. Like little kids gotta wear earmuffs because it's so loud in there. Oh, that was the other thing. The engine so loud, and he muffled it or so. He did something to quiet it, and it's still so loud. So loud, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dang, did Wait, you get drive? Did you the... drive that thing? No, I didn't. What? I enough time. He came up late and we were wake surfing like two hours away and didn't get back to like 10 30 at night and then we went for a night ride in the monster truck oh, okay and then he we had to go in, in the morning all of us yeah <laughs> monster truck dude it was nuts did it have a name dude do you have a name for it no not yet he only got it two weeks ago <laughs> Dude, he went. Where did he get he, this thing? He f saw it for sale on the side of the road in Maine, <laughs> and then asked the guy if he'd be down to trade his. So he has like a low rider car, like the mm -hmm. hydraulics on it and stuff. And what? asked the guy if he was down to trade, and the guy said yeah. So he drove half hour, got his car, and then drove back, and then drove the monster truck like on the highways had his buddy behind him like watching him, and just cruising back if he said people were like taking pictures of it and stuff when he was like stopped they're probably not actually street legal i'm assuming right but he has dealer plates because he's mean? like a mechanic so and owns like a shop so he uh -huh. can like transport transport cars stuff to, oh, so he okay. can fix them yeah gotcha <laughs> That's sick. Though. So sick. Always want to ride in one of those things. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know how they like, how you like win. You know what I mean? Like during like those monster truck shows, like somebody wins in the end. I don't know how they how? do the point system or whoever stays just, like last. Best. Yeah, it's just like the last truck standing or something. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Sure. Scooby Doo never wins, dude. Damn it. Yeah. That's tight, though. <clears throat> yeah, I just been uh, got some Adidas and non-Adidas guys in town. Gonna do some shredding. Oh, did you shred today? Or tomorrow? No, not today. Tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta go to Cali in the morning. Killer Cali in the place. I think my flight's like nine a.m. Mm. <sighs> you going for? Uh... I'm traveling nonstop. You going to see um, Man Bun? Is it? <laughs> the long Can't hairs. Long hairs. Yeah. yeah. I think I, think, I'm, about that, I think I might stop and see Tony one day too. Did you hit him up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you gotta drop in, bro, on the ramp, dude. Well, Come on. If it happens, I don't know. Dude. I, every time I visualize it, I get these like butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> gotta do it, dude. Like nerves. Gotta do it. I know. Just lean forward. Just grab the nose, dude, and you're good. Grab the nose? Grab the nose, bro. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what they teach little kids to drop in for the first time. Just grab your nose. Grab your nose and you won't fall. No. Yeah. Ask Tony. He'll tell you the same thing. Grab the nose. Don't go too forward, though. No, but I'm stoked. I'm going to get to see my cousins, too. Another Tony. Yeah. And Clark Matt. West. Clark West. How long are you there for? Uh, just four days, and then get home. Father's Day, fly to you. Yeah, when's Father's Day? This the year? birthday, nineteenth. Uh, 
the 18th, 19th. 19th. Right. And then, yeah, come out to Michigan and we'll be linked up again. Oh, yeah. Just Podcasting in person. Then we just damn, damn Zoom calls. <laughs> I know. Hopefully Thank you for bearing too. with us through these. Yeah. We'll have a nice couple weeks of regular podcasts. In person. I got to change around my whole studio again. Ooh, that reminds me, I should get some. Do you, would you be down to put some uh, soundproof, like four squares or something behind you? Four squares, yeah. Or like Four eight? square? I don't know. How many would you be down to put on your wall? Four squares, old skate company. <laughs> four, oh, yeah, I remember four squares. Do you remember Clothing? counterculture? No. No? That was oh. one of my favorites. Was that some hippie stuff, bro? No, that was a skate company. Some hippie skate company? No. Satori? Satori. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't remember counterculture. East Coast, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. Um. But yeah, put some soundproofing stuff up in here, dude. Yeah, we should do that. Bring your guitar, dude. We got to record some songs, dude. No, dude, we got to do that here. In no. The studio. No, dude. It's too reverby in there. Yeah, this is where we're going to do the <clears throat> chorus, dude. The hooks all, all come from here. With the oh, reverb. the hook. We'll, we'll do the hook there. So it sounds... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Might sound, might give it some life, you know? We'll do the hook. Oh, I like it when you wiggle jiggle. <laughs> my money don't wiggle jiggle. <laughs> that damn song <laughs> stuck in my head, dude. Dude, I don't, there's some crazy background story of that song. I don't know it, <laughs> Yeah, I kept asking Heather about it. It's like from, it sounds like it was like from some dating show or something. No, it's from TikTok or something. Yeah, but that's where they got the clip from the audio from. <clears throat> yeah, I watched they the original like clip. The audio and then it's from like it's like, like some like blind compute, date. Yeah, they computerized his voice and then he, I think he then actually did a verse and like did a whole song to it. It's so weird. It sounded kind of scripted, like a fake yeah. scripted, unscripted show or something. Oh. But good, good jam though, dude. <laughs> I want more of the song. Yeah, I want it to continue. All the TikTok videos are only like, you know what? Dude, Thirty you seconds. The whole so. song. Did he? Um, he ended up recording a full yeah. song. I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't heard that. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's so. Fun. Jeez, what is that noise? That's my air. Can you hear that? Yeah, <clears throat> AC's on. Got to crank an AC. It's getting hot, boy. 99 here tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Wednesday. How's, how's the house? The house is chilling. Oh, nice. Real cold. It's too cold, actually. Yeah, I hate that. Upstairs. When you, and then you're wearing a sweatshirt inside. And yeah. Outside, and, I, you're like, oh. and then it's super hot outside. You got to kind of acclimate to the <laughs> outdoor, dude. Dude, I was thinking the whole time. I was freaking, <laughs> Shiver quiver. Yes, dude. I you just, just, kept, kept, it? just kept saying, do you want a sweatshirt when I was on the boat? And I was like, no, I got to acclimate. I got to acclimate. That's all I kept saying. <laughs> You, gotta, you forgot to do the breathing technique, no? I did. I did forget that. Yeah. What is it? How does it go? Oh, uh, let me think for a second. It's like... Oh, you have to inhale a big inhale. And then let out a exhale little. Exhale a little bit. And then inhale more. Exhale a little bit. Inhale more. Big. And you keep doing that. Oh, that would have helped. It brings all the blood to your core. Keeps you warm. Yeah. And then you go. <laughs> <laughs> Move your tongue really fast on the side of your lips. I can never. You. My cousin always did that sound. I could never do it. Wiggle your, just wiggling your tongue. <laughs> Jesus. We, nobody wants to hear that anymore. Oh, my God. Banana noises. <laughs> you drive people nuts with that. Sorry. Sorry, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish a lot of people just shut dude, this off. Could, what I just did, a lot of I people hope just no one ever sees off. that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sound sound bite. That's the sound bite for the. Episode. No, please no. Yes. Shout out to Susan. Emailed us again. Did she gave us the cookie recipe? Yeah. What did she say? She shared this awesome. I'm sorry, I keep yawning, dude. It, I, my sleep is like 
good sleep. I, ha- I haven't been sleeping in Instagram. I mean, not. Um, what did she say? Oh, she shared this epic fishing, legendary fishing story from her family about fishing this lake by her and catching a walleye and like a big old muskie came up and just ate it right off. What's a musty? Musky. What's that? <clears throat> it's like a old prehistoric Holy giant shit. like pike almost. Just just giant fish. Dude. That's nuts. Huge. You know, like 60, 70, 80 inches, like just massive Oh my god. Pred- predators. Um and then uh what else did she say? Oh, she was asked if she wanted to send us these uh ninja cookie cutters they're doing all kinds of like crazy Stop. ninja moves <laughs> i told her like no she sent too much i was like don't send them. i gotta give her another shout out and she gave us some tips on cooking the cookies 14 cookies. 18 minutes 14 for a little softer which i like a little softer i like a little softer too maybe do 15 minutes <laughs> right in there my mom does cr- my mom always did crunchy she likes crunchy Mm-mm, get out of here mrs they, ferraro you, you just use the milk to get it crunchy soft Crunchy? What? No, you can use the milk to get the soft ones crunchy, though. That's what I always tell people. To make a soft cookie crunchy? Yeah, if you dip it in the milk, it literally gets, like, hard. What? A sugar cookie? I don't know about sugar cookie. I don't know what cookies you... I don't know what... chip cookies, dude. What reverse world you live in. Cookies get soft in milk, like an Oreo? No, I know, but if you just do a quick dip, it can... I, I'm not I buying it. This. We need to. Uh, we need to get to the bottom of this because uh, you are in an alternate universe. <laughs> Either I'm crazy, or you're just crazier. Dude, dude. I swear this has happened. This but is... you know when you put an Oreo in a cookie, it gets soft, right? Yes. Any cookie will. No, get but soft if if it's time. a hot, you're... no, so no, no, it has to be a hot soft cookie though. A hot soft cookie, it will yes. cool it rapidly. It, cool it, it to it, firm like, it up. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Yes. Okay, thank you. It will rapidly <laughs> cool it not and make crazy it a here. little bit firmer. All right. We're missing a key ingredient there. About to say, bro. <laughs> you rock no, but that's my favorite: is dipping the hot cookies in the milk. Warm cookie and some cold milk, dude. Ooh, making me want a glass of cold milk right now. <laughs> <laughs> what was I just saying though about? Yeah, cookie time, dude. We'll make that recipe for um, when you come here in June. I'm excited. You'll be here for Go Skate Day. I know. We got to go see the little kiddos at the skate camp, too. Stoke. Thousand percent. Where's the skate camp? Yeah. Skate camp's for Plus Skate Shop in Farmington. It's at Riley Skate Park, which we didn't go to any other park except. Um, yeah, because you only you're only here in the winter. And yeah, I've summer. only been to modern. And only to modern. Okay, yeah, dude, I'm gonna take you to this. We gotta go to uh, West Bloomfield Park because there's a dope mini ramp with a spine oh. right in the middle that you love, dude. So it's what like a mini ramp. A spine in the middle. It's a mini ramp, but super wide, and in the middle, <clears throat> there's a spine. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> coming out i ate this freaking massive chicago style slice of pizza dude oh deep oh, dish yeah like the like the deep like the, <laughs> the, the, the freaking what is it called like the Am, deepest dish dude what's the big trench called the, my, the biggest trench in the ocean my ah damn it my brain isn't working i haven't been sleeping dude i can't function Atlantis? um no, it's uh, my mirror, Maryland, Maryland, Maryland trench. Oh, people are You're yelling. And people are yelling. It's deep, dude. People That's how deep yelling. the dish is in this pizza. It's a very deep dish. <laughs> <laughs> he ruined his own job. Mariana, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's done. Um, pizza. <laughs> Before that. Oh, the mini ramp. Yeah. It's this super wide. And in the middle, there's a spine. You know what the spine is? Yeah, like that you can go over it to the other side. And there's a quarter pipe on each side, yeah. And then it's like a shot, like a double barrel shotgun rail on top. Uh huh, uh huh. You know what I mean? Those sketch me out sometimes. No, you're going to love it, dude. It is very weird because you can't like stall on the deck or anything. Yeah. But, um, dude, it's a dope mini ramp. That's sick. If you like skating mini, get down on this thing. I'll get down, funky town. I like How to go tall on, is it? I like to skate a mini mini 
Ramp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's mellow. I think it's only like, I don't know, three and a half, four. Four feet tops, bro. Probably four. Ah, uh, it's chopped. And <clears throat> the sketchy thing, though, is all the way to the one side, there's a hump. So where the spine is, there's like a little three foot I section where it's just like I a hump. I hate those it. things, dude. Yeah, but it's but if you when you can really mash and see, it's fucking sick. Why are humps so sick? Like I hate them. <laughs> yeah, because you can't like, <laughs> utilize them. Like you, you know, you can skate them. <clears throat> if I guess because they you make you them, like, they help you flow better through the park, right? You can just keep going. Yeah, you can get you can gain speed off them and stuff. Okay, yeah, keep you going. But, um. Yeah, so you can just be like cruise the mini ramp, freaking go over that thing and woof, pump and like gain speed and just rip across the whole coping. Sick, dude. Or you can skate and like tray flip from fucking side to side if you're a boss. If you're a boss, you can tray flip it. <laughs> dude, I was really. <laughs> so, I know, I shouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I was really, <laughs> drive people crazy. I was really proud of myself in Massachusetts. Like right after the speech, the first thing I did, went and did was go to a skate park. Mm -hmm. And. It was like the sketchiest skate park, like, cause it was just like, it was all trans. It kind of reminded me of the one in, uh, New Smyrna. New <laughs> Smyrna. Never going back. Um, it reminded <laughs> me of that one, cause it was like a lot of transition, but it was this one was weird. Like there was no like, what like flow. Hello? Anthony, where you at? I lost you. Speech on mute. Anthony. Shift command A. Audio sub menu. Stop video, button group. Video sub menu. Anthony. Close, open participants panel. To participants. What happened? Participants sub menu. Close, video sub menu. Just click this button, press control. Option space. You are the host now. I am the host now, motherfucker. <laughs> I guess I should stop video. Actually, no. You are the host now. <laughs> so sick. Did your fucking computer die, bro? It, it saves it, though. Bro, ski. And we only have 13 minutes left. Yeah, we gotta finish it. I know. It says it after like a minute. It was like, "You are the host now." <laughs> I was like, "Fuck yeah!" It says stop video. I'm just gonna hit stop. I don't know what to do. I will, but there's no way it's gonna work if you. Should I try to send? Should I go to video sub menu and try to send it or something? Or just make, just go on, and make sure you have it. Yeah. In the heat of moment. What was I saying? Talking about the skate park. Ferraro is the host now. Ferraro is the host. No, I was the host. Bastard. What did I say? <laughs> Said Ferraro Where's your camera? Is the host Neil now. Mancina. Close. Open participants. Participants sub menu. Open chat panel. Chat sub menu. Share screen. Button. Record. Button. Reactions. Button. Close. Open. Add. White horse. Button. Where is? Leave. Button. What? Close. React. Record. Just chat sub. Open. Participants. Close. Video. Start video. Video. Start video. Button. Here. Where is?
Not Where's your camera? Hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Fuck up. Oh my god. Hang on, let me make sure. Why that... the fuck would. I don't know why it would stop the video. Uh -huh. Start recording again. Hold on. I like it when you go biggle. Big juice. Uh, I like it when you pick a wiggle. It's recording. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Yes. <laughs> oh, stop. Yeah, it is. It says it's recording. Oh. Um. <clears throat> I just start with the uh, at a skate park in Maryland. Yeah, so no, that that skate park was so weird because it was like a bowl, a huge bowl, and in the middle of the bowl. Wait, sorry, sorry. I don't know. You should maybe time slide. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just in case. Three, two, one. So the skate park was a, it was like a huge bowl. It was so weird because it was a bowl, really big, and then in the middle of it was this hip, like, mm -hmm. and then had like a rail. A ledge to the right and a ledge to the left that both turned into hubba's like going down this other side back into the transition like it was set up really strange mm -hmm. and i was super overwhelmed from the second i got there i was like i don't think i'm going to be able to skate anything here like it seems really weird it was and just then, all covered in by like transition around all the edges almost yeah exactly so you and, just yeah and then finally like I just took a deep breath. I kept walking around. I kept making a map in my head of everything. And, like, eventually, probably, like, 15 minutes later, I, was, I like, started skating. And I was super, like, tense, you know, because I just, like, didn't know what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. And then, finally, I got loose. And, like, it just slowly started happening. I slowly started, like, finding a line to hit. And it was really cool, like, once I finally did it and then people like there was only like three other people there but they got like super stoked like because they saw like dude i was trying it for a while and then finally like the progression was really cool to mm -hmm. see i got it was a really big barrier to get through in my mind of like i feel like i should just leave because i have no idea what to do here yeah to I'm like oh i'm actually having fun now yeah that is good yeah it's a hard thing to do when you're yeah, well, in a new area and like yeah, I know that feeling very well. <clears throat> yeah. Go and do a new spot. I'm like, I don't know if I can do anything here. Have you ever had that? Yeah, all the time. Yes. Yeah, where you don't really feel like skating at first, and then you just, yeah, just kind of work through it, dude. Because like also the whole park was like a flow, so like when kids took runs, it seems like they were going all the way through everything. Mm-hmm. So then it was like even more overwhelming that way, because you're like, am I in their way? Yeah, am I blocking people? Yeah. But everyone was super nice, and it was just, it was good. What was your line, bro? I did, I went down this super steep roll in, like, that was at the beginning of the park. Super steep. Not super steep, <laughs> but it felt, because I went down it, I mapped it out, and then, like, didn't take in the, like, <laughs> everything was, like, uh, nothing was, like, flush, you know what I mean? It was all, like, there were, like, bumps and weird like oh, curves yeah. to everything yeah and then i went down this uh, like all the quarter pies were different sizes all the hips were different yeah heights they all and stuck stuff. out different angles and stuff like yeah. that yeah and then i went down this one the rolling and it was like at first a rolling like it's just a mellow like drop and then it got like super steep in my opinion like it just started going like what felt vertical but it wasn't yeah, most but, rollins do that. You roll and it goes vertical for just a second, and then curves. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I just kept, <laughs> like I felt weightless for a second, and then yeah. kept going down, and then went up to this like decently sized uh, like pyramid thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a pyramid box. Does that make sense? Because like there was yeah, like a pyramid with a flat top. Yeah, or is yeah. that yeah? Yeah, yeah then, it's, it's a. Yeah, bump to bump with the pyramids, yeah, on the side, yeah, on the corners, yeah. yeah. So I did, like, a ollie transfer from one side to the, like, over the other, like I did in uh -huh. New Smyrna. Yep. And then I did, I ollied up and 50 50 this, 
um, it probably was knee high ledge because the kids were like, "Dude, I only, we only know this one kid around here that can like get up on that." And I was like, <laughs> "Like, you know, kids was, need to start working on your pop, dude." What? Pop felt pretty decent, and then. Wait, what'd you do? So you'd roll in ollie, um, ollie the flat. No, I just was on the flat and fifty this ledge. <laughs> Oh, okay. And it was sketchy because there was like a rail right behind you, and like there was no room, but I still got it. I was down there, oh, yeah. And I got a um, front crook to fakie on like a low ledge on mm. the other side. Sick. It was my first one I've done in a while. That felt good. Yeah, that's a good um, a good uh, yeah, motivation of uh, yeah, getting through your own comfort zone. Yeah. But figuring out what you can shred, dude. Yeah, dude. It it's having good. fun, dude. No you got anxiety. ice over there? It's like, what? You got a bag of ice over there? What is that? No, it's a bag of fruit snacks. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> Palming some snacks, just waiting for this to be over. Uh, no, oh, it's the rapper. It's just the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> fruit snacks. Oh my god. Oh, that's too funny, dude. That's way too funny. I thought you were just had them in your hand, just like a little kid. I'm like, can I have these yet? Oh. <laughs> can I eat these now? <laughs> Not until you're done with your podcast. <laughs> How can you eat your fruit snacks <laughs> if you don't finish your podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Just some fruit snacks. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said that was so innocent. Oh, Speaking of opening things up, do you have that skateboard <laughs> that guy sent? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's right, you gotta it's open right next that to me when in the box. There. Yeah, good call. I forgot I have that thing. Yeah, and then you gotta open the power bait, dude. <laughs> I know, I do. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm gonna open it. We're gonna use it when you come. Oh yeah. <laughs> power <laughs> bait, dude. <laughs> gonna see if it really works. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Man. I don't know if it's going to work, dude. Power bait, dude? It's a sure shot. I mean... I, dude, have you ever... There was like infomercials on that yeah, shit. Yeah, we'll try it. I mean, it'll probably catch like a bluegill or something. <laughs> but nothing like... Of any oh. substance. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. We'll see, dude. And we'll catch a big old bass on it. Power, it what, is like, it goo? What is it? It's like, do you gooey remember dough? Are they like balls that you can put on your? Yeah, you hook? make it into balls. Or you can put it whatever kind yeah. of size you want. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! And then your fingers are gonna reek like power bait. Oh, dude, it's the worst. Oh my god, dude. No, it smells great. Power bait. Well, there's a sneak peek of what video you're gonna see. <laughs> Anthony sent me some power bait, dude. <laughs> I like it when you jack a wiggle, big ball. Wiggle, <laughs> uh, wiggle. Yep. I think that's it, dude. I think that is it. It's a wrap. That's a that's a um fruit snack wrapper. It's a fruit snack <laughs> wrap up, son. Now you can eat your fruit snacks. That <laughs> 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 is just my fruit snack. Wait, real quick. <laughs> I learned another animal the other day that I really wished I knew what it looked like, but I can never touch one. Really wished. I really yes. wish. <laughs> Whatever, Daniel. God Daniel. damn it. It's called you Michael. <laughs> God damn it, Anthony. <laughs> We're going to take you back to English class. Dude. Oh, my God. I really a wish I, you, I could see, but I'll never be able to touch is a porcupine. Because mm. one like road, ran across the road in Maine, and they were talking about it. And I was like, dude, what does a freaking porcupine what? look like? Just a ball of spikes, And, dude. like, what sounds does it make? Like, how does that thing grow spikes? Like, how does it just spikes? It's got to have some fur or, like, skin. It's like... What if you, yeah. like, cut off its spikes? Is that even a thing? I mean, they come out because like, they get stuck in animals. People think they shoot them too, but I looked that up. That's a misconception. No, yeah. But they, when if an animal gets one in its like, let's say a deer gets it in its snout, it will keep burrowing its way until it goes to its brain and it will kill the animal. The quill. Yeah. So what you is have it, to like pull them living? out. 
No, it's not living. I guess it's just the way like the, it's shaped. And oh, what just the over body time does. though, not like right away. Yeah, over time. Yes, That's over time. That's insane. And so, like, if your dog gets it, you have to get them all out, or else they'll they'll die and they'll get burrowed in there. And apparently, they like use their <clears throat> tail to like push against their attack, like wh- whatever's attacking them, and then that like uh, causes the animal to like it, it like their pork the spikes like break off into the animal, like you said. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just, damn, that's insane. You don't want to get jabbed by one of those things, dude. So you can't pet a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. It's not very firmly. What about like a petrified porcupine, like a dead one? Petrified. <laughs> petrified. A scared porcupine or a dead one? <laughs> <laughs> Like oh, you could dead. you could touch it if it's dead, yeah, because it's not gonna like Ugh. jab you. But they're like barbed ends, kind of like a barb, you know, where it like can go in but doesn't come out. You know what I mean? The way the pokey. Oh, quills what are. color are they? Oh, I think there's like a brown, like a darker brownish. I don't really and remember. Are they are they round? The like the bodies are kind of roundish, yeah. And do they have four legs? Like four, four legs, legs yeah. yeah. Like they do have like some fur on them too, like. Maybe less quilly fur, kind of. <laughs> I don't even remember, really. And I feel like they have like a pointy nose, kind of, too. Like a snout. Like a... And what about their tail? What is their tail? Look I don't like? remember the tail. I don't remember the tail. We're going to have to get a stuffed animal. Yeah, we so. are. But how could they make a stuffed animal of a porcupine? Yeah, without it'll be a soft one. Right. Or we can just go find a porcupine, dude. Yeah, we got to forage a porcupine. We just got to do it, dude. <laughs> we can eat them. <laughs> People eat them? People eat them, yeah. All right, I'm done with this conversation, dude. This has been... <laughs> good, thing last, porcu- porcu- over, good thing about a porcupine. The last over computer episode in a while. <laughs> what did you say? Good thing about when you eat a porcupine, you can use his quills as forks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Um, I'm Anthony Ferraro. <laughs> Dan Mancino. Four this bad is eyes. Four bad eyes, bro. Email us. Dan at Four Bad Eyes or Anthony at Four Bad Eyes with any questions, comments, concerns about the email. Four Bad Eyes. About the com. show. And um, follow us, Four Bad Eyes across the board or Dan the Mancino, my personal account. ASF Vision. And, and as always, keep pushing and. One love. Keep pushing and one love from Four Bad Eyes.